John Thor returns as Kavanagh QC in an hour, but now, what's Fitz been saying? Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Caramel. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I know you said tackle it in the morning, but I thought, well, if I make an early start, we could open as usual. So how long have you been up? Ah, uh, four, four thirty. I'll give you an hand. No, 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 there's no need. Well, actually, I couldn't sleep. We were all upset. I think perhaps with, with the benefit of hindsight, I, I might have overreacted a little bit. It didn't help you flying off the handle like that. No. No, no, I, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I'm sorry, I've let you down. It's all right. I mean, I was scared, Hayley. I'm, a, I'm not action man. I don't relish firefighting. I don't know. Perhaps I, I should have a word with her. Uh, yeah, I don't want her to think that I'm authoritarian. No, no, leave it now. I'll talk to her later. She's probably still feeling a bit sensitive. You, you can explain later on. Right, well, if that's all right, well, I'll get on. There's plenty to do here. Come here. What? I'm very sorry, Haley. I really am. I know you are. If this is how the rest of my life is going to be, I won't complain. <laughs> you all right? Yes, it's uh, just a letter from the doctor. Oh, dear. You're not allergic to much wind luck, are you? No, no, no. It's just a routine check. Very dull and boring. Probably wants you to sign something for next door. Oh, hello, Curly. Hi. Come on in. <clears throat> you all right, mate? Never better. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I won't keep you then. These are Audrey's posters. Okay. Oh, oh, thanks. Mind thanks. you, I think she'll go down in political history as Weatherfield's only phantom candidate. Oh, come on, don't exaggerate. I'm not. I mean, swanning off to Spain in the middle of a campaign. Tell me it's not true. What? Well, this this council trip to Spain. Hmm. I mean, it's not really about twinning Weatherfield to Torremolinos, is it? Well, it will be if Audrey gets away. Oh well. <laughs> and I thought things could only get better. I'll see you. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> oh hi, Doctor Ramston. Yeah, hi. Um, listen, I've just had this. There's nothing wrong, is there? Oh, no, no, it's just a precaution. The hospital wants to repeat some smear tests that were taken earlier. What, because somebody made a mistake? I'd say it's more a case of the Elf Authority being thorough. So, there's nothing to worry about, then? I shouldn't think so, no. Oh, well, that's a relief. I mean, you hear these stories, don't you? Anyway, thanks. I'll see you later. OK. Now, all sorted. Oh, good. <laughs> um, yeah, well, Roy's a bit busy now, but I know he wants to say to you that he didn't mean to shout at you, did you? No, 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 of course not. Right, well, are you all ready then? Oh, I don't have to go to school, do I? Well, of course you do. I nearly died last night. I'm still in shock. I think you'll find it's the law attending school. I mean, you didn't go yesterday. I know it was a shock, sweetheart. Yeah, but the best way to deal with shock is to get back into a normal routine, isn't it, Hayley? Yeah. Who asked you? It's a fact. Do you get some buzz from yelling and screaming at kids? No, no, of course not. I'll tell you what, why don't you come home for your lunch and I'll do your special. Oh, OK. Bye, bye. Hiya. Oh, hello. How's Toya? Really down. Her spark's gone. She's just not herself. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? Is there any chance you could pop in again? I don't know what to say. Yes, of course. I have a free period. I can pop over and see you. God bless you, love. I mean that. I won't forget it. It's OK. Thanks, Doc. Hey, are you sure you want to get involved? Yeah, why? You know why. Won't be a problem. Hey, Sophie. Hey, Rosie. Hi. 
Oh, David, no, wait. Look, I'm not going to have another go at you again. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, I didn't mean to jump on you like that yesterday. Look, are you just going now? Yeah. Well, how about if we bring you here tonight for your tea? I'll tell you more. What do you say? Whatever I want. Whatever you want. Yeah, all right. Great. All right, we'll see you later. Too late to get to school. No way. I don't mind. Well, I do. Roy, have you had a registered letter handed in to you? Uh, no. It's important. You could say that, yeah. Um, well, have you, have you tried the sorting office? Good idea. Hey, is it? Never mind. Hiya. Hiya. You all right? No school? No, what about you? No, oh, dentist. No, I just told him I didn't fancy it today. What, and they just let you have the day off? Yeah. Oh, well, I just thought that Roy and Hayley would be a bit stricter than that. No, nah, you've just got an hour to work him. That Roy reckons he's hard, but I'll fix him. Roy's not hard, he's a real softy. Yeah, well, no one treats me like that and gets away with it. Why, what do you mean? Well, he was coming on all heavy handed. Well, that doesn't sound like Roy. <sighs> anyway, it don't matter, because he won't be doing it again. I thought you were going to the dentist. Don't let me keep you. Hiya. Sorry about that, I couldn't stop her on my watch. You what? My watch. Oh, tell me, what I'm doing my repetition six times a mile. Sounds painful. <laughs> not really, not if you know what you're doing. You've got to take a nice, steady pace. You've got to listen to your body, Dennis. Yeah, well, we're not exactly on speaking terms at the minute. <laughs> so what do you want, then? Uh, nothing. I was just wondering if you were meant to be working today. Why? Oh, has Mum been going on? No, I was just wondering. Oh, well, I've been to the agency, I haven't got out, so uh, I've gone to my breakfast and I'll look for the adverts. Hey, that's a good idea. Cheers, I knew you'd agree. See you later. Hey. I was really sorry to... So that's why you're coming in. Good. Well, now you know you don't need your eyes tested. See you later, David. Bye, love. Hang about. I've done you a favour. What? You moving? I took an envelope in for you this morning. You did what? Registered. Look, I was passing the shop on the way back from the calf. I don't believe this. I've been on the phone complaining because it hadn't been delivered. Yeah, well, the shop was shut. I was taking the girls to school. Look, Sal, you're obviously having difficulty coping. I can help you if you want. I can manage very well, thank you. And as for help, I've put a little card in Rita's window, but don't go thinking about answering it, will you? Look, you're being stupid. Oh, you think so, dear? I'm offering you help. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't want help from you if you were the last person on earth. Yeah, well, I don't want my kids suffering because you're being too pig-headed to listen to reason. Don't worry about and as for you, stay away from me, all right? What? Hey, this seems much happier now. She's tucking into her egg and bacon like there's no tomorrow. Oh, shall I have a word? No, no, leave it now. Cheer up. Cheer up. Well, it's easy for you to say, and I should hang a sign round my neck that says rapist on it. Oh, come on. Oh, you think I'm joking? Hey, have a look at him. Look, don't you think you might be being a little bit oversensitive? You've seen enough, have you, mate? Do you want a photograph? And anyway, how do I know you didn't do it? Peter! <laughs> hey? Yeah, go on, clear off. Oh, uh, hello. Do, do we have an appointment? Um, no, Roy. This is Miss Field, a colleague. Oh, how do you do? Pleased to meet you. Roy, we've come to collect Fiona. Oh, uh, Fizz, is, is, is it time for her to go home? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry? She's made an allegation against you, Roy, one that we have to take seriously. Our procedure following such allegations is that we must remove her to ensure her safety until we conclude our inquiries. Remove her? S safety? I, I don't understand what she said. That you hit her. Plenty of broken cloud indicating some sunshine, but also. Can I come in? All right. How are you? Look, I know how you're feeling. Really? Anything good on? Not really watching. 
Right. Don't feel like talking, do you? Looks that way. Listen, that's understandable. But you might find it helpful. Look, thanks for coming round, but I really don't think there's much point you being in here. I know what you're going through. That's what everyone says. They understand. They know how I feel. Do you know, it's amazing how many flaming rape experts there are out there. Yeah. It was the same for me. What do you mean? I've been raped as well. Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Caramel. Come on, folks. Park's closing. Oh, please. Can't we stay a while? Are you hungry, Mr. Parky? It's steak and kidney. They're crinkle cut. Say when. Ketchup. Do you mind? Oh, do you work out? <clears throat> I'll leave you to it then. If you're looking for something more reliable, look no further than an RAC motor loan. With a typical APR of just 7.9%, you could finally get rid of your old banger and get something you really want. Have you fixed it then, sexy? Yeah, getting there. And if you're not already a member, we'll throw in a year's RAC roadside membership. Call 0808 1000 250. A to B, we RAC to it. Ah, shopping. Not just great fun. Great exercise. <clears throat> and like any vigorous activity, shopping can give you the occasional heart attack, which is why I always carry my life support system. Barclay Card's new price promise covers a range of items bought with your card, find them cheaper elsewhere, and they refund the difference. Right now, sir. A slight pain in the wallet for a second there, but it's gone now, thanks. Go on, laugh. Of course you can. Designed for small bladder problems, new Tenor Lady Ultra Mini is as discreet as a panty liner and drier than a thin sanitary towel. <laughs> Tenor Lady Ultra Mini. Laugh, move, live. Sweets are so fruity and juicy, you just can't take them seriously! <laughs> Starburst, get your juices going! A lovely golden cup of PG tips at last. Shirley, have you seen my finger, Magic? The drawer on the right. How am I supposed to find it if you put it there? <gasps> no, Kevin, not till you've done your homework. <gasps> Samantha, phone. It's all right, Mum. It's Steve. Oh, at last, PG tips. That was a taste worth waiting for. Mm. You can taste the difference in a cup of PG. Tender tips make tastier tea. You lot? What? Nothing. Ha oh. ha ha. Strength! That's a great word! We're. Over there beside the Great Reds. <laughs> Tesco. Never little helps. There's now an easy iron conditioner built into new bold tablets. So you'll steam through the ironing. Take off with the stars. Just don't show them my passport photograph. <laughs> then come back down to earth for the bump. We cannot delay a flight, sir. I just don't want to hear it. You know, you can't help me, OK? No. I have to go. I can't sleep in the airport for 24 hours. It's all part of the ups and downs of Airline. After Coronation Street. Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Caramel. Hey, Hayley. 
Thanks for everything. I don't understand all this. I've never hit anybody in my life. I'm sorry, Roy. I can't get into a discussion about this now. There'll be time for that later. Later? What are you going to do? Well, Fiona will be examined by a doctor, then interviewed by us. Um, we'll probably meet to discuss her findings after that. If not, then tomorrow. I'll be in touch soon. All right? <laughs> Rush. Did they find him? Oh, yeah. I knew him. One of my lecturers from uni. No. And what happened? He went to court. And he... got off. But I won. I went to that courtroom knowing that I was the stronger one. I don't have to resort to violence to get what I want. I don't have to play power games to boost my self-esteem. I looked him in the eye, and I kept on looking. And it worked. How? Because he couldn't return my stare. Even when the judge dismissed it, the tow rag couldn't look at me. And his wife saw that, and she knew. And I went to his lectures, and I kept on looking at him, straight in the eye. And he couldn't look back at me. And then he left. So, I won. I won, because I realised only someone weak and pathetic and perverted could do what he'd done to me. And I wasn't going to be a victim to that. Oh, I, uh, I just wondered whether the you needed anything. No. Uh, not now, eh? All right. See, but that's all right for you. But I don't know who did it. I can't fight back. I don't know who it was. Look, look. I know it's not going to be easy. It's going to take time, yeah? But you're strong. You're stronger and better than whoever this low life is that's done this to you. Believe me. Yeah? Uh, whiskey and a dry white wine, please, Betty. I'll get those, Ben. Oh, right. Oh, hang on. No, no, let me treat you. I want to. She's a very special lady in my eyes, and you're whisking her away. I'm very happy for her, and you. You've got a cottager here. Yep, and that's right. A bit different to what she's used to. Do you think she'd be all right? I'm sure she's mature enough to make up her own mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. Right, here we go. Please, please convey okay, my no. personal blessing. Well, I'm not sure that... that you're going to need it. No, of course you're not, but I want to give it to you. She means a lot to me, that lady. You will look after her, won't you? Ah, of course. Thanks. Be happy, darling. Uh, Roy, you've given me two dollops of mash instead of me pie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Are you OK? No. We've got to soldier through this. Why? Why did she say that? Hmm? <laughs> Roy, Roy! <laughs> Tell her about. She's off sick. Oh yeah, pull the fast one. What about the governor? Is that the back? Why? Tell him I want a word. <clears throat> Please. If you like. Oh right. Are you sure about this? Oh for God. 
goodness sake, how many more times? I might be winding you up. No, no. He's obviously very fond of you still. Well, we do go back a long way, but um, that's just water under the viaduct. And you'll be leaving all your friends here? Well, we're only going to much Wenlock, you know, not out of Mongolia. All right, I'm just making sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Curly, Curly, just the man. You must be joking. No way. I give you a grand to settle out of court. That's it. I think you'd better leave. You what? You heard. I think you'd better go, love. Oh, yeah, he's got you wrapped round his little finger, just like Code Sawyer. You watch what you say. Listen, Toya's off work because she was attacked the other day. Attacked? Right, if you must know. We'd rather put your pathetic little problems into perspective. Now get out. Did she say when she was coming back? Well, apparently, uh, they've told her she got to visit another town. So she wants me to start this campaign without her? Well, you know, just the door-to-door -door stuff. Flame in it. What kind of campaign manager does she think I am? Very nice and thoughtful one. Ah, there you are. Sally Webster is desperate for help in her shop. Oh, I just seen her a minute ago. Yeah, and she was just putting a card in Rita's window, so if you're quick, well, she won't want me. Well, why not? Bit of charm, bit of chart. Go for it. Well, what sort of job is it? I don't know. Shop work, nothing complicated. I don't know. Working for a woman. Hey, it's working. <laughs> yeah, I like. Why not? Go and read the card, see what she's after. Right. Are you enjoying it? Not bad. Yeah, it's nice having it together, isn't it? Yeah? Well, uh, see, you're not bad. This is only a one-off mind, just to show there's no hard feelings. Mum said you can have whatever you want for afters. Did you? Yeah, do you want to tell me and I'll go and get it? Right. I'll have a couple of them chocolates with roll things and another drink. Yeah, you've just got to ride it through. Let it wash over. I'm not sure I can, Dad. And anyway, I'm not even sure that I want to anymore. What do you mean? I don't know. Might as well just pack my bags and leave. Oh. You're not serious? Oh, yeah, I am. It's better than being public enemy number one. Can't even go in the pub. I have to spend my whole day in this... This flaming cafe. Yeah, but your DNA results are due in a couple of days. I just can't hack it anymore, Dad. What? <laughs> First Susan, then Adam, now you. Excuse me, are you Dr. Ramsden? Yes, yes. Joe Simpson, Weatherfield Gazette. I'm doing a piece on this smear scare. There's only a smear scare if you cause one. Uh, that's not my information. Which is? A major cover-up at the hospital. Well, ask them. I don't work there. I am. But I want to do a piece on the local GP and the impact on ordinary women's lives. We don't know there is one until we get the results. Who do you think's to blame? I don't think blame is the right word. The hospital is doing the right thing by retesting. Are any of your patients at risk? As I say, until the results are confirmed, either one way or the other, we don't know. So. You'll excuse me. Bye, David. See you later. See ya. David said I could borrow his micro scooter. No, we never. He said maybe. Same thing. If you pay him, yeah, whatever. Mum, can David come over later and play the computer? No, love, he can't. Why? Because I haven't got time. I've got a business to run. I've got to run you backwards and forwards to school. I need to work on the shop tonight. Yeah, David said that you say that. What? He said when your parents put up, they don't have time for you anymore. Rosie, that is not true. Yeah, it is. You get rid of Dad. And then when we get to like Danny, you get rid of him and all. How can you say that? Because it's true. No, it's not true. Yeah, it is. Rosie! Hello, love. You have been out for a walk? Yeah. Hey, that's good. Listen, did that Charlie come and see you? Yeah. Did it go well? Very. That's great, that. Come on, what about some tea, eh? <clears throat> Nothing. No. Seven. Will that ring now? No. Oh, perhaps that's just as well. 
Perhaps it'd be just as well if they never rang. You don't mean that. I think I do. Well, that would be depth. Of course you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I found her difficult to talk to. Impossible. Every child is not going to be like Wayne. Well, I know that, but how could she lie about me? And where's this going to end? I could, I could go to prison. Oh, she was angry. They'll find out the truth. Oh, will they? Well, even if they do, I'm not sure I want to go on with all this. Listen, when we went to them fostering sessions, when did they ever tell us that fostering was going to be straightforward? Well, they didn't. Exactly. So we can't just give up now. Not just because of this, not after everything we've been through. Well, I'm not sure about that. What do you mean? You were right, what you said about behaving like an adult. And the mark of being an adult rather than a child is that you recognise when things are beyond you. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that fostering is not for me. Right! Look, I have to face it, Hayley. I mean, if, if, if something is outside of my experience, how can I use that experience to help? What? If I don't understand how a child operates, how can I help them? Look, I have to face it, Hayley. I, I shouldn't be a foster carer. I shouldn't even have children. I'm just... I'm just not the right sort of person. Tonight. Don't get too involved, James. I'm not involved. I'm just trying to help someone out. Don't help too much. I beg your pardon? What the hell is it to do with you, Laurie? Not to put too fine a point on it. Brand new Kavanagh QC in half an hour. Nation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Caramel. If you've been affected by this storyline, representatives from Victim Support are online tonight from 8pm to offer help and advice at coronationstreet.co.uk.